Hi, in this video I'm going to be talking about keywords, key phrases, and why you should study your market before you do anything else. Now if you were to open a business in a town somewhere, a shop or something like that, you'd have to study your market by doing surveys, by going to see your competition, I mean, there's a lot of things you'd have to do and it could take months. Online, you can study your market in less than five minutes. Now, there's a free tool, it's absolutely free, from Google. It's called Google Keyword Tool. And what it does is it records how many people during the last month searched for a key phrase or a keyword. Now, first thing you need to do is make sure the language is right. So, always select all countries and territories for the, for the best results. And then you type in your key phrase or keyword. Now for this example, just imagine you've had a brainwave and you found out that nobody anywhere sells hamster shoes, okay? And you're going to think, God, oh, I'm going to be the only one selling hamster shoes and nobody else is going to do it and I'm going to be rich. Well, you find out that this isn't necessarily true. Now, I'm going to show you why. If I type in hamster shoes on Google and press get keyword ideas, Now you see that per month there are only about 46 people typing in hamster shoe and 170 typing in hamster shoes. And these probably aren't even buyers, these, these are just people uh, inquiring on hamster shoes, maybe to make them themselves or something. So you can see there's no point at all in going after this market because there's nobody at all searching for this phrase. Now if you really love hamsters and you want to do something with hamsters, what you should do is just type in hamster and Google Keyword Tool will give you uh, different ideas related to hamsters. So you can see uh, there are five million people per month typing in hamster, uh, but uh, you know you probably couldn't. I don't think you could sell hamsters online, so it's not worth going after. Um, if you come down a bit and you can see well hamster cages, you can see there are two hundred thousand people typing in hamster cages. So if you wanted to go after hamster cages, for example. Um, you could maybe you know either sell cages, you could make them yourself, sell them online, or you could sell an info product, which is either an ebook or a DVD or something like that, explaining to people, showing them how to build their own hamster cage. Okay, so that's something you could go after. Um, but not all key phrases, uh, even if you know there are big results, they're not necessarily um, you can't necessarily sell anything through the through that keyword. So for example, if I find pregnant hamster okay so you can see that I mean there's 10,000 people per month typing in pregnant hamster so you might think oh that's a good keyword you know keyword phrase I can go after that but this doesn't mean that uh, you can actually sell something to that person because pregnant hamster is probably someone that's got a hamster uh, that's pregnant and they want to find out you know how many babies a hamster has or you know, different things like that so be careful what keywords you go after and make sure that people are actually looking for them and a good way to identify this is through um, the advertiser competition, which is this green bar. So basically, if this is high, that means there are people going, actually paying, uh, to be on the first page of Google through uh, Google, you know, AdWords. Um, and if people are paying further for this, it means it's worth going after. So you can see hamster hammy, for example. There's nobody at all, you know, paying to be to be on the first page. This means that if I, people have either, either tried it and it hasn't worked or you know it's not just it's not worth going after. So make sure this green bar is probably you know it's better half more than halfway is the best. Okay? So um, anyway I'm gonna come back to ice cream maker okay that I showed you earlier on. Ice cream there you go. Right get keyword ideas Right, so as I showed you before, um, automatic ice cream maker, for example, the example I use, that's 27,000 people per month. Uh, so that's pretty good. So when type people type in automatic ice cream maker, it's mainly because, you know, they maybe it's the summer and it's hot or something, and they think, oh, I, you know, why don't I buy and make my own ice cream? So they go online and type in automatic ice cream maker. Um, if someone types in, for example, play and freeze ice cream maker, or there are different names here. Um, 
White Mountain Ice Cream Maker, Cuisinart Ice Cream Maker, for example. Well, that's recipes, but if someone types in Cuisinart Ice Cream Maker, that's because the person's found out about this ice cream maker and they're really interested in it. And this is, for example, this is a good phrase, key phrase to go after as well, because it's normally people that are wanting to buy the product. If they've actually typed in the, the actual name of the product, it's because they probably want to buy it. So basically, you have to type in your key phrases, see what's going on, see the advertiser competition, and try and get into the head of the of the the people typing in typing in uh, the different key phrases, and try and figure out if it's a key phrase uh, where someone want, could you know, possibly buy the product, or if it's just uh, an inquiry. Okay, so that's what you have to do. And as I said before, always search, always do your research, study your market before you do anything else, otherwise you're going to waste a lot of time, okay? So it's very, very, very important. Anyway, I hope you like this video. If you're watching this on a, a video site, YouTube or something like that, if you could please leave me a comment, I'd be really grateful. So uh, anyway, I'll see you in the next video.